everyone, what's up? How are you? I haven't seen you for a long time. 好久不见 long time no see. Today, I want to share with you a very practical topic, which is、um, I'm sure you have encountered it before. So it's like、uh, when you're、um, asking for direction in China, or when you're shopping, when you're in the restaurant, you want to address some strangers. Like、um, you don't know how to address like a young lady, young boy. Or the elderly, you want to show respect to them, or middle-aged people.、Um, how are you going to address them correctly? I'm sure you wonder about this already because、um, sometimes you might address the wrong thing and make people angry. So today, let's talk about this. Well, first, let's talk about how do we address young people, like young guys, young lady. This is very interesting because.、Um, For young guys, we have this saying "handsome boy," and for young girls, we say "pretty girl," "beautiful girl." This kind of saying has been very popular in China for almost,、um, I think, at least thirty to forty years that I remember.、Um, it's very friendly and it's very casual way. Yeah, but nowadays we have a new saying. Well, let's talk about an old one first, which is very common: "handsome boy." The same for young boys. It is 帅哥帅哥帅哥帅 means handsome, and 哥 means brother, handsome brother. Okay, 帅哥 So it's fourth tone 帅 and first tone 哥帅哥帅哥 So um, when you're seeing a young guy and you want to ask for a direction, you you might want to say, okay, 帅哥 Um, how do we go to Walmart? 帅哥 Okay. And for young girls, we say, 美女美女 All right. So 美 third tone, which means beautiful, pretty, 美女 which means girl, lady, 美女美女 beautiful girl, beautiful lady. Okay. 帅哥 handsome guy, 美女 beautiful girl. And now let's talk about the most trendy way, the most fashionable and coolest way to address someone, to address young lady and the young boys.、Um, it has been very popular, and I think、um, has been popular for five years, so it's pretty recent. And yeah, for young girls, you can call them 小姐姐 little sister, 小姐姐小姐姐 third tone, 小 which means little, 小姐姐，姐姐，姐姐 means older sister. 小姐姐，小姐姐 ，little older sister. Um, yeah, you can call a girl in her twenties, even in her early thirties, 小姐姐 or who hasn't been married, 小姐姐 All right, 小姐姐 Um, if you call a girl 美女 which means beautiful girl, uh, she'll be very happy. And if you call that girl 小姐姐，小姐姐 She will say, "Oh wow, you're so cool, and、um, you're in fashion. Yeah, you know about like the Chinese culture well, especially recent pop culture in China. Yeah, okay. And for guys, you can call them little brother, little older brother. It is 小哥哥，小哥哥，小哥哥，小 third tone, which means little, and 哥哥，哥哥。So 哥 which means older brother, 哥哥，哥哥。Right for girls." 小姐姐 for guys, 小哥哥 Um, I have mentioned before in my previous videos, it's not like 小姐姐小哥哥 which is very hard to pronounce. So when you have like um the same character, same tone, you can change the second character in a no tone. Instead of saying 小姐姐 very hard to pronounce, we can say 小姐姐 not 小哥哥小哥哥 Alright. Yeah, so when you see some young boys, young girls, you can call them this. They'll be very happy. Okay. So when you see a stranger who's a middle-aged lady, you can call her 姐姐姐姐 It's third tone and no tone. Older sister 姐姐姐姐 And when you see a middle-aged guy, you can call him 哥哥哥哥哥哥哥哥 All right, that means elder brother. So、uh, for young ladies, 小姐姐 little sister. For middle-aged ladies, 姐姐 For boys, 小哥哥 For、um, like middle-aged men, 哥哥哥哥 And what about the elderly, like older people you don't know? 
um, I'm sure they don't want to be called as grandma or grandpa because if you call them like that, they will be very pretty upset or even angry because I believe in China and almost all the part in the world, um, everyone wants to be called or seen as younger than their real age. They don't want to be seen as an older person. So um, instead of saying grandma, we can call them auntie. Instead of saying grandpa, we call them uncle. Okay, so um, how do we say auntie? It is a yi, a yi. First tone, second tone, a yi. All right, a yi. When you see an older lady who's like over 60, like 70, 80, you can call them a yi, a yi. I'm sure she'll be very happy because um, you call them auntie, okay? And for for grandpa, you can call them shu shu, which means uncle actually. Shu shu, shu shu, first tone and no tone. Like I mentioned before, um, shu, shu shu, it's very hard to pronounce, uh, very difficult to pronounce. So instead of saying shu shu, we say shu shu, shu shu, because shu, they are uncle, shu shu, they're like both same tone, same character, so we change the second character into no tone. Shu shu, shu shu, shu shu, all right. So now let's do a review when you're asking for direction, going shopping in a restaurant, ordering food. How do you um, address strangers? For younger boys and younger girls, there are two sayings. Um, one is handsome boy and pretty girl. It is handsome boy. Shuai ge, pretty girl. Mei nu. And a very cool and popular way to say it, it is for young girls, beautiful girls, you can call them xiao jie jie, xiao jie jie. And for young guys, xiao ge ge, xiao ge ge. For um, middle-aged women and middle-aged men, you can say uh, jie jie, elder sister, ge ge, older brother. And for grandma and grandpa, you can call them for grandma, a yi, which means auntie, and uh, grandpa, shu shu, which means uncle. So now you know about this. When you're traveling in China, try to use it. They will say that you're pretty cool and they want to make friends with you. All right, thank you. Bye.